Hi, I'm Larry Coleman, and I once had the privilege of talking to a woman who was well into her 80s. She may have been 90 years old, and this was a few decades ago. And she was from Great Britain, and she served in World War II as a munitions worker. Now, she met a man over there from the United States who was an airplane mechanic, and he brought her back over to the United States after World War II. These two people were my mother and father-in-law. But I would sit and listen to her stories about life during war times, and she would even go into describing the sounds of the bombs as they fell during Blitzkrieg, and how they the family would have to hide her uh, father because he was a Jew. Now, those stories are significant. It's a very personable, personal story from her, and it made it personal for me, the listener, as her son-in-law. I was enthralled with that. And I even wrote a screenplay called Two Against the Flood because the man that she married even though he had an eighth grade, eighth grade education, he was an inventor. He invented the first electric car here in the city of Indianapolis in the 70s and was written about in Popular uh, Mechanics magazine. He later developed Alzheimer's. And so the story was built around how the two of them were dealing with this uh, debilitating disease. And stories like th this is where our voice comes from. It is the sum total of our experience our relationships, our view of the world, and the way that we tell the story, our emotional content and context, and stories are all around us. You have a story, I have a story, she had a story, and all of these stories matter. And that's the reason I like writing dramas. I like writing things that are real. I, I like love writing things that are personable, that have an emotional hooked to him. And that's the reason my stories matter.